Hi guys, I'm Bree. And I'm Allie. This is Off Script. If you think about it, books are potential scripts for movies. When this adaptation happens, typically it's disappointing because they went off script. In this series, we will be talking about how off script they went. Hi everybody! Welcome to a mini-sode. Mm-hmm. Today, my dad was like, what are you guys recording? I was like, mini-sode. He was like, what's that? <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> Thanks for listening, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> He's like the most um, into our podcast without ever listening to our podcast. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Him and mom dropped off bookmarks at the post office in Cannon Beach when they were just there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and my mom told the, one of the workers about it and he took a bookmark. That's amazing. So if you're here, hello, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> That's funny. Mm -hmm. I guess I can update everyone on the podcast that I left my job. Oh, yeah. Tell us all about it. It was was a rough job, guys. I was waking up at one in the morning and basically I would get off of work and come home to take a nap. And the only way to do things was if I took a nap and it just it made doing anything very difficult. It was just a very labor intensive job that was slowly but surely killing my back. My, my back, 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 back. I definitely meant my body, but <laughs> apparently it's my back. It got to the point where the week where I decided to quit, I couldn't walk on my left leg. I couldn't put any weight on it. I couldn't get in and out of bed with it. It was, it was hard. It still hurts right now, but it's like, I took a few days to like, elevate it, ice it, and do all the stuff that, you know, when you have something hurting, you're supposed to do. And so now it's like, okay. But man, if I try to go any faster than my regular walking speed, my knee's like, "Mm -mm." oh man, (laughs) we out of here. Yeah. We're old. Mm -mm. I was worried because I thought it was my meniscus. Because when I had everything going on with my right knee, Mm -hmm. the meniscus was the one thing that they kept looking at it wasn't what was wrong but they were like if you ever heard like a weird pop that kind of sounded like a bone and then your knee hurt that would be your meniscus tearing oh i was like oh and the other day i like because you know how my knees every time i bend down it'll crack i was trying to see if like i it needed to crack so i bent down to do that and a weird pop came out of my left knee and i was like it's my meniscus (laughs) But I do not think I would be able to walk on it now if it were. Yeah, I have no idea. But yeah, so I'm back in the stressful life of finding a job. (laughs) Yay! (laughs) The best. (laughs) Having stress nightmares about it. Yeah. Because why not? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, life. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Anyways, any more update? Anything else going on in life? I'm about to be dog sitting for the next two weeks. Fun. Except for I'm nervous because one of them is a dog that has seizures and he has yet to have a seizure since when I watch him. But his owner texted me and said he had a seizure last night. And usually when he has one, he has three. (laughs) So what do you do when he has a seizure? You kind of let him do his thing and then you Mm -hmm. give him his meds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like a person. Basically, yeah. He just now needs meds in the middle of the day rather than just morning and night. So... So now I like, cause he's usually the kind of dog where as long as I give him his breakfast and his dinner, I don't have to be at the house all mm-hmm. throughout the day. Mm-hmm. But now for the next three days, I need to at least be there for that mu- middle medicine. medicine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That makes sense. So yeah. Or why? Yeah. So he's a big Roddy too. Aww. Mm-hmm. So I might be seeing a dog have a seizure in the next few days. That would be a story. Oh, heck yeah. You'd have to compare it to your seizures. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to traumatize me whenever I watch dogs. I'm going to think all dogs are seizures. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I know. <laughs> when I first met this person, she was telling me about seizures. And she was like, do you have any like experience with seizures? And I was like, with people, yes. <laughs> 
My dogs know. <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> What'd she say? She was like, oh, so you basically know, like, I can't even remember what she said. But then she started talking to me like I knew everything about it. Oh. And she was like, you know, he has cluster seizures. And like, obviously, I can understand what that means. But I was like, did Allie have cluster seizures? <laughs> I don't think she had. What the hell is a cluster seizure? <laughs> I have not been told mine were cluster seizures, but who knows? Mine just happened when my meds get screwed up. I was just going to say, I feel like when so they, we were teenagers, it didn't happen. Like you wouldn't get one and then like the next day get another. Mm-mm. I only had them consistently at the beginning because I wasn't on medication. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 I don't. So who knows? Maybe if I wasn't on meds, I would have them. Cluster seizures style. Don't go off your meds. No, thank you. <laughs> I haven't had a seizure since 2016, so... Hey, I'm, almost 10 I'm years. I'm coming up on the 10-year mark, so I'm... That's impressive. I know, and remember how I used to have, like, buzzings? Yes. I, I don't have those anymore, <gasps> too. Oh. I know! That that's was, exciting. That's the most exciting, because I had buzzings um, in a job interview once. Ooh. Yeah. You're like, am I about to seize? <laughs> right here. I wasn't even worried about seizing in front of everybody. I was just like, they asked me a question. I can't physically cannot answer them because my <sighs> mouth will not work. And I can't oh. process what they just said. You know, it's funny. I think you need to re-explain them to me because I thought in high school when you explained it, I thought it was just hearing. I didn't realize that everything like shut off. Well, <laughs> it does and it doesn't. So like I used to get it, it kind of sat, felt like bee buzzing mixed with like static okay. type of sounding in my okay. and it would block out all sound and then like i would get like a tingle like all Ooh. over but okay. it wouldn't be like intense it would just yeah. be a little bit and then um the buzzing would kind of stop and I could still talk, but I could not hear what I was saying. So I didn't so then know. You didn't want to talk. Didn't want to talk because I don't know if I'm being coherent or like. The purple cloud is. Exactly. <laughs> so then I'm like, so they ask a question and I just have to sit there because then I cannot, even when the buzzing stops, it took my brain maybe five to 10 seconds to oh. fully like. Click on. Yes. Whoa. So I could not comprehend what I was saying or what they were saying. And I just had to sit there. So I'm sitting there quiet. I I was just like, hang on. And I literally told them, hold on a second. Did you explain? I did after. I was like, so I have seizures. (laughs) (laughs) Little to say I did not get that job. (laughs) I was just going to say, that's exactly what you want to have to talk about. I was so mad. I really was like excited about that school too. Like I was. Uh, uh, That's so. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> and then I wonder if they thought that you were just making up a story because it took you <laughs> to come up with an answer for the question or something. Oh my gosh, who knows? But ever every year, like I because mm-hmm. I was honest and I told my principals about this. I was just gonna because, ask. Because before that, when was the last time I had a seizure? It was just like a year or two. I was still in no, I was at TCC the year before. 2012. Okay, so I had one in like 2012 ish, 2013. And so then I was doing all my interviews in like 2015. And so then I get a job and I'm, I'm like, I better tell my teacher because this is kind of a like a medical must yeah. know. Yeah. And so both my principals are like, okay, so we need you to pick two really, uh, well-behaved students and they're like my emergency seizure watch kids <laughs> so if i had a seizure we had dependent on these kids to protect right. <laughs> we had a red button in our classroom because we mm-hmm. had like brand new schools mm-hmm. that they could hit it and it would oh, be an emergency okay. for someone to come to the okay. room and so i had to explain i was like you guys i have seizures so if i fall down leave me alone but go hit that red button <laughs> their faces were horrified oh i bet <laughs> I don't remember what I did in kindergarten. I did not pick. Did I pick someone in kindergarten? I must. I had to have. But my fourth graders, the awesome girls. God, but I'm glad I never had a seizure in class. <laughs> yeah. I was just going to ask, have you ever had a seizure out in public or has it always been at home? It's always been at home. That's good. That is really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nope. I've never had one. I mean, the only other one is like at Sarah's house. Oh, yeah. That was not at your home, but it was in a home setting. Mm-hmm. Or at the hospital. I've had them at the hospital. Yeah. But that's it. No, yeah. that's real lucky. Because I know lucky. I have people texting me who I've uh, been friends with who have seizures. 
And they're like, what medicine are you on? Because I had a seizure at the store today and like stuff like this. And I'm like, oh, "Oh, that sucks. I'm so sorry. Yeah. (sighs) That would be not only are you then like, oh, I had a seizure, but then you're like embarrassed, especially depending what your body does. Yeah. Because a lot of the times, you know, you might go to the bathroom because all you lose control of everything. And so I didn't know that. I don't think that's ever happened to me. No, you but just I, kicked me in my sleep. I throw up after every time. So I do remember that. <laughs> That's how I knew I have one. Ow. I wake up and I feel sick and I throw up and I'm like, mm, I must have had a seizure last night. <laughs> Wait, you've had them in your sleep without someone like telling you? No, but I've figured it out. And then mm-hmm. I'm like, did I have a seizure? And they'll say, yes. <laughs> Cameron, Cameron has done that. <laughs> Say every time you had a seizure around me, I fucking let you know <laughs> you were awake. Up. <laughs> you scared the shit out of me. No, the first time Cameron saw me, we had just moved in together. <laughs> and I like wake up and I see him poking his head around the corner, and I feel nauseous. I'm like, I had a seizure tonight. He's like, yes. And the second time, I was pregnant with Riley, mm. and I knew before. It happened that time because I was like, I feel so dizzy. I feel so nauseous. So luckily I was able to sit down because I was oh. on the way to throw up in the bathroom. Mm. So I was able just to sit down and seize and seize. Yeah. <laughs> I was like trying to imagine how you sat or where I you was sat. Like, yeah. Did I sit on the floor? Because we had a we had one of those bathrooms that have like the bathroom part and then the toilet part in a different oh, like, yeah. room. Mm-hmm. And so I'm like, was I in that little room? I can't. I honestly can't remember. Sorry, guys. I know that was a pertinent detail you wanted. Say, that's what they all wanted. <laughs> this has turned into your seizure podcast. Dude, I know. We were supposed to be comparing some stuff. What the heck are we doing? <laughs> I started talking about a dog with seizures. And, you know, <laughs> Shoot. naturally it went this way. <laughs> all right. Well, let's get back on track. I, I wonder if he takes the like meds like you take. When I'm there, I'll look at his pill bottles and okay. I'll text you and be like, it's either called oxycarpazepine or trileptal. Oh, I actually think it's the T one you just said. Oxycarpazepine is the um like off brand of trileptal because mm. I'm poor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same. And it's more fun to say. <laughs> I went to the. I went to when I was uh had my rash. You guys, we did a really quick update. Oh yeah. But it's like, mm-hmm. has it come out yet? When did we do that update? I don't know if it's come out yet. When it must have. Wasn't it with the Ove? I don't know. But anyways, you guys, I'm allergic to freaking succulent. A succulent. Anyways, so I went to Minute Clinic and she was asking me what medicine I'm on. And I said Oxford passed me and she's like, I used to work at uh uh maybe it was a hospital or it was an old folks home or something like that. Because she's like I had one patient that she was older and she's like, it's time to take my oxycopazepine. And she's just like, said it. She's like, she's told me it like over and over. That is the medicine I will never forget. I'm like, <laughs> That's <hilarious. sighs> Anyways, 15 minutes later. Mm-hmm. All right. Allie's got some super fun facts for you from season one mm-hmm, that we had not done during that season. No. So. Allie, take it away. Okay. We already did Sorcerer's Stone in one of our minisodes. So here's Chamber of Secrets. Daniel Daniel Radcliffe (laughs) was initially only offered 125,000 pounds. That's approximately 181,000 for over here for this movie. But the Actors Union Equity stepped in and said, no, 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 no. We're going to get you 2 million. Damn. Yeah. I need a union like that. (laughs) I know. (laughs) Jeez Louise. (laughs) Lucius Malfoy originally wasn't supposed to have long hair. However, when Jason Isaacs was cast, the role he requested long hair so he could be distinguished Ah, from his son, Draco. That makes sense. Yep. In order to keep his hair from falling in front of his face, Isaac had to keep his head tilted back, which further added to the snobbiness of the character. I loved it. That's actually super cool. Yeah. I like it. And it's smart because honestly... Everyone calls both of them Malfoy. Exactly. So. So yeah, Malfoy with the long hair. Smart. Yeah. Number three. 
Although based on the second shortest book, this is the longest movie. Phoenix Order Tough. of the Phoenix is the longest book and it's the second Fuck. shortest movie. <laughs> Like <laughs> that's so backwards. I thought that portrayed to our podcast pretty well. Like, For sure. Shows how much they screwed up the Order other books. of the Phoenix. So, yep. They should have flipped the two run times. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Number four. Just like his character, Rupert Grant had such a severe case of arachnophobia that he still has not watched <laughs> the entire scene where Ron and Harry are in Aragog's Hollow. In the scene, Ron's frightened look and uncomfortable squirming are not acting, but Grint's genuine reaction to the simple thought of spiders. Hell yeah. I'm with you, <laughs> Rupert. <laughs> so could you imagine, though, having to like work with this giant animatronic spider? I would freaking hate it. Like I told my story in that one. I yep. kept my eyes closed during that ride, during that <laughs> whole part. Literally. Second I start seeing the cracked ceilings, I'm like, yep, okay, closing my eyes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then I wait until I hear Harry <laughs> talking about the Dementors. I'm like, oh, I can look now. <laughs> you're not scared of the Dementors, but you're scared of spiders. No, I should be scared of the Dementors because be. they're like, as I've explained, they're like 10 times the size of a human. Right. <laughs> in this ride <laughs> but i'd rather look at them than the spider that's hilarious <laughs> well the spider also spits water out at you because it's oh. doing its little like thing oh that's not fun yeah so i just keep my eyes closed fill the water and then go on your merry way yeah <laughs> get me stuck in front of some dementors <laughs> could you imagine if i got stuck in front of the spider that would be hilarious <laughs> <laughs> i'd be like Tell me when I can open my eyes. You just have to face your fear. They'll be like, you're here for like another hour. Just open your oh, eyes. Like, okay, I'm going to open my eyes with my hands covering. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I would not. Are you I would take a nap. <laughs> and then my luck, I'd wake up and be like, what's up? Ah! <laughs> That's exactly what would happen. <laughs> Okay, number five. At around 17 minutes, when Hagrid is escorting Harry out of Nocturne Alley, and a Again, when Lockhart turns and shows his other profile to the photographer, hardcore covers of Harry Potter books can be seen on the shelves. Oh, so that's like cute. In the um, in the store. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I thought that was fun. I have never seen that. I haven't either. It made me want to go back. Yeah, for real. Except for that's one of my least favorite movies. So oh, oh. maybe I won't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so come back to another minisode. Who knows which one? Yeah come back it just kind of depends on when we're feeling like doing them yep <laughs> at so. some point you'll get them all yeah <laughs> enjoy that guys <laughs> but now for the main event 20 minutes into our <laughs> generally 30 minute podcast <laughs> i know i just know that this is gonna be really short mm -hmm. i mean not it might not be really short because i'm also intrigued to hear like how you thought of this movie yeah but we, Allie and I had just watched Paul Rudd's version of The Great Gatsby, y'all. That was like 1990. Shoot, I want to... No, it was 2000, I think. <laughs> was it? I think it was. It felt like it was 1990. <laughs> I think it was 2000. <laughs> yep. Wow, 2000, exactly. Holy yeah. crap. 24 years ago. Wow, shoot. This freaking... The synopsis is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Stockbroker Nick Carraway consents to play Cupid for his rich married cousin Daisy Buchanan and her former love. That is not Nick's character at all. <laughs> tell us your thoughts, Bree. How did you, whatever. <laughs> How'd you like this movie? Okay, so I really liked that the parties actually went all night into the morning. Mm -hmm. I liked that a lot because in Leo's version, the parties, I felt like they ended in the middle of the night still i was like no they're supposed to be like going on for five days at a time <laughs> like, right right it's not supposed to be the quick little thing i did not like who they cast for gatsby nope i didn't either he was not good he was too like meek uh toby stevens played jay gatsby well, he looks good there. What the heck happened in i know gatsby? <laughs> i don't know what's funny is i feel like i've seen him in yeah, other like things Percy oh, Jackson. funny. He's Poseidon. Oh, in the, oh, TV, in the TV series. Mm -hmm. I might have a problem with Poseidon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I've never seen him, but he was way too... 
he just was very meek and very like soft spoken, which I think Gatsby has to have like a little bit of. Mm -hmm. But he also has to be, he's a bootlegger. So he's supposed to be this like businessman who can get shit done too. This dude, every time he was on the phone with his like bootlegging company, it didn't sound like someone who was in charge to me. Yeah. He, and he sounded weird every time he said old sport. And I imagine Gatsby like old sport, like owning it. (laughs) Yeah. It's his (laughs) It's how yeah. he says it. It like, sounded just like something he was forced to say. Exactly. I agree. He, the second he said it, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> Why? And I've always wondered if I only liked Leo as Gatsby because that was the first Gatsby movie I've seen. Mm-hmm. But now I'm like, nope. <laughs> nope. Because <laughs> he actually plays it well. <laughs> um, I also didn't. I love Paul Rudd, but I do not like him in this role. Oh, I actually like, I don't know if I liked him better than Tobey Maguire, but really? I liked him. Yeah. I he, I felt like he, I don't know. I just think he's too much of a funny man for me. Well, look up, because if this is 2000, this is like start of his career, career. Probably You're probably right. So he wasn't a funny man yet. Like this is before he was even on Friends. Uh, He had done quite a bit before Cassie. <laughs> so, oh yeah, duh, he was in Romeo and Juliet too ironic he was in a movie with Gatsby I like that's the Romeo and Juliet that we're gonna cover when we do that too oh I have not seen it really unless it's is it the one that we had to watch in school with Leonardo DiCaprio Mm, I don't know it's not the old one it's the Baz Luhrmann one nope I had to watch it in school but I had a cool teacher who also let us watch Nightmare Before Christmas about a million times (laughs) (laughs) Uh, yeah. So he had done stuff. I don't know. I thought it was for a for a young, newish Paul Rudd. I thought it was he did he did fine. He, I liked it. He brought too much cynicism to the role. He played out the parts of Nick that just hated Gatsby, and I didn't like that because when I read the book. I think that Nick does have some like, I don't want to say ill will towards Gatsby, but a little bit. There's some stuff there where he's like, okay, this dude's kind of like, this dude's kind of a jerk. This dude's kind of a jerk. But he always comes back to, but deep down he's lonely and he needs a friend. So I'm here for him. Whereas this Paul Rudd, Nick, (laughs) I felt like every time he could say a bad thing about Gatsby, he was saying a bad thing about Gatsby. And then I like the girl. I like Daisy. She was really pretty. I actually like her way better than who they cast for Daisy and Leo's Mm -hmm. Gatsby. I agree. I was like, ooh, you're pretty and you're blonde. You're good. Maria Sorvino. Or nope, it's Mira Sorvino. No, <laughs> it's tiny from back. <laughs> it's funny as I don't think she's been. I've ne- I don't. Oh recognize. wow. Well, if we end up doing the what is what did we call it after dark episodes okay. where we do steamy books, she'll be in one of our series that we do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was not a fan. Of how they showed Daisy and Gatsby's love story, like throughout the whole story. I like it better when you get it when like Nick is now in their relationship, basically once Daisy Mm -hmm. and Gatsby are together. Because if we're following Nick, why are we getting random interspersements of Gatsby and Daisy? That's true. Uh Uh-huh. Because we weren't just following Nick in the movie. No. Didn't follow the book. No, it did not. I also, the, the, whatever it's called. Leonardo one. Yeah. (laughs) Whatever it's called. (laughs) (laughs) The Great Gatsby. (laughs) No, I know, but the, the, his version. Yeah. Uh, it didn't start off showing him dead in the pool, did it? No, no. The movie starts with Gatsby, Gatsby dead. dying. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that's a spoiler. Like, what? 
Like, cause that was supposed to be a shock at the yeah, end. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> so, but it was not a shock at all. No. Oh, also, I didn't like in this movie how Daisy and Tom just up and leave their daughter. Oh, do they have a daughter in the other ones? Yes, they do. Okay. Yes, they do. And she was supposed to get introduced way earlier too. Like the first time Nick's there with them. Okay. Whereas this movie did it in the case of, oh, Gatsby is here. Let's, you know, oh. get him where it hurts. Yeah. And then at the end of the movie, they just leave her with like a butler when <laughs> they're right. literally supposed to be moving out of the house so that they're not in this city anymore. <laughs> That's the whole mood. Just leaving your kid behind. <laughs> we'll be back, honey. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Have fun with the butler. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? So was there anything redeeming about this one? Like, did you like? Like I said, the only thing that I really liked about it was the, um, how the parties actually went through the night. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's all you liked about it. It was a rough two hour watch for you. It was. I mean, it wasn't because I love the story. So I was like, yeah, yeah tell me all about it. Mm. But I just kept like, it really made me appreciate Leo's even more than I already did. Fair. Mm -hmm. I also, I did like that. I feel like Boz in Leo's version. I mean, we'll probably end up watching some of the other versions, obviously not anytime soon since we just did this, mm -hmm. but at some point in the future. So I'll be able to really see if he took from all of them. But at least he took from this one, like the flower scene when Daisy first comes and sees Gatsby. A lot of those flowers were the same flowers that were in this scene. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So I was like, Boz did his homework and yeah. like wanted to probably like give nods to these that were before him. That's cool. Mm hmm. Yeah. I don't know the Leo version enough to know that. Yeah. But I just do. I do remember the story and mm -hmm. I feel like. Story wise, it matched. Yeah, pretty good. It followed mm -hmm. it pretty well. It like apart from showing when Gatsby dies right off. The yeah, that was part was weird, but mm -hmm. for the most part, so it's not like one of those total like what is going on. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Which one do you prefer? Oh, I do prefer the Leo one. Yeah, so. yeah. Mm -hmm. I just don't like old movies. <laughs> Which is funny because this isn't that it's old. Not that old. No, but the way they filmed yeah. it, it looks old. Well, what's funny too. Because you would think almost we would like this one more because it's a little bit more true to the 20s. So, like, the music is from the 20s, yes. the style's from the 20s. But, no. There was no, yeah, like, in the Leo version, their music is more modern. Mm -hmm. It's Jay-Z was the person who, like, put the whole soundtrack together. <laughs> so. Oh. <laughs> well, I that confused me in the Leo version. Mm -hmm. It really did. I was like, why wouldn't they play music mm -hmm. to match it? Um, so yeah, this one matched a lot more to the realistic version. And I feel mm -hmm. like, I don't know. I don't know. They, they both followed the story really well. So yeah. it's not like, um, I don't know. I'd have to watch them back to back to know which one did better. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I like the Leo one just because it's... I think they each change things or left things out. Just like differently, like Tom and Daisy do not leave their child behind in the Leo version. <laughs> right. But then the Gatsby parties go all day and all night or mm -hmm. like neither like, neither one of them did like the drunk driving. Um, those guys running in and oh, yeah, at no. the party. I was no. looking forward to that. <laughs> You're like, please have that. I, scene. I was like, it was so funny in the book. I was like, one of the funniest parts of the book. And then they don't have it in either movie. I just don't get it. <laughs> I mean, I get it because it's true. entirely unneeded. Like it is the most pointless scene <laughs> in the world. Like, if you didn't say that, I would have forgot that that was a scene <laughs> in the book. <laughs> it's so unneeded, but mm -hmm. it's like it would have been funny. funny to see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Leo one, I think, kind of nods to it because uh, oh, yeah. I think you hear a crash. You do. I don't think we even heard a crash in this one. No, no. This one very much. Oh, there was... Oh, there's a scene that I did not like that I'm pretty positive I made a video for. But there's a scene at the first party where they go in and they're talking to the guy who's got the glasses on. And in the book, Nick thinks, oh, 
this dude looks like the billboard. In the movie, he full on just goes up to this guy and is like, oh, hey, you remind me of that dude who's on the billboard. And the guy's like, who? And he's like, you know, the billboard that you drive by when you come in. <laughs> I was like, uh, why? Because they didn't do internal monologues and so they had to get it in there. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> But yeah. Oh my gosh. I also prefer the Leo version, if you could not tell. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you guys should watch them and let mm-hmm. us know. Which do you, do you prefer? The Leo version, the Paul Red version, or the book? Oh yeah. Heck, I prefer the book over all of them. <laughs> 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 but it is kind of nice, like just watching it. I yeah. haven't just randomly watched Gatsby in a long time. And so it was nice being like, oh, it made me want to read the book again. But <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> nope. Cool. All right. Hey, you guys. Thanks for sticking around. Yeah. Listen to another Gatsby episode. Mm-hmm. Which Come. one shall we do next? Well, if we don't do another one of these, we know it's going to be Castle Rock. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think so. Because let's see. What are our minisodes coming up? Do we know? Uh, I think our next minisode is a Divergent. divergent. Mm-hmm. Ooh, you guys, that one's fun. Oh, it's a blast. We're like halfway through with what we need to do for it. And mm, so fun. fun. Also, coming out next week is actually, I just edited this episode and it's one of my favorites. Uh, it's Accidental Billionaires. Mm-hmm. It's a good one. That's a fun one. AKA the social network. I was going to say for those of you who don't know, that's why I went the social network. <laughs> yeah. I was like, <laughs> what else are you trying to say? <laughs> yep. Then we got a Legion and then caging skies. Mm-hmm. And then we'll do our divergent bonus episode. So the next, the next mini episode you'll get is actually a bonus episode. Not Exciting. Mm-hmm. But, Oh, then we're going to do Amityville. And then we have a mini sode right after that. Oh. So maybe we'll do... Oh, maybe we'll rewatch Amityville. Yeah. That's a good idea. Okay. So maybe you guys will have another rewatch coming up. Yeah. Because Allie's never seen the 1979 version. I have not. And I watched it a long ass time ago. So let's watch it and see how well that matches. Mm-hmm. <gasps> what? I already know I'm going to like it better. Why? It's got... Oh, something that I can't say in it right now because you haven't listened to that episode yet. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, you guys. Uh, so, so this is just... Well, we're close to the end of the season. We are. I say that, but we're really not because we have all we're of like April, all of May, through. and all of June. <laughs> we still have three months left. Oh. There's a little sneak preak. Preak? <laughs> sneak preak for you. <laughs> sneak peek for the rest of the... <laughs> coming up weeks here Mm -hmm. and yeah yeah and i have a feeling oh at some point you're gonna hear all about ali's spring break well spring break vacation to florida yeah that's probably gonna be in a real episode (laughs) yeah which this comes out while i'm still there yeah it does so ali's already gone peace Check our stories. I figured out how to do stories so I can she actually did. like do some things now or yes. my Thursday update posts. Yeah. Yeah. So mm-hmm. that'll be tomorrow. Tomorrow you'll get an update Florida post. Yeah, you will. There you go. Haha, <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. right. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye. Thanks for sticking with us. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, we would greatly appreciate it if you gave us five beautiful stars, reviewed, and subscribed. You can also follow us on Facebook at Offscript, on Instagram at Offscript Podcast 21, and on TikTok at Offscript underscore pod. Shout outs to Madame Shen Creations for our adorable logo art. And Adam Daniel for our incredible theme song. And to Creative Cinephile Productions for producing our podcast. See See you you next time. time.